we will begin on our mats. We are going to do, as I said, some arms and inversions today. So down as you are. We won't be here long. We're going to do this just to kind of clear our breath, to clear our mind. And as we were discussing, we are welcoming fall allergies into the area, so we're getting used to our little southern fall. So just take a moment with that. Slowing down. Breathing. Trying to clear the air, clear the nose. Breathe in through your nose as you press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. As you exhale, let it out through the mouth. And we're going to do a series of these, so take your time with it. Press your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. As you inhale, you'll find a couple of different spots where it can press. But then you're going to find that one where when you press, it's like it opens up your sinuses. The out breath is very relaxed, steady and slow. And we're just taking time to catch up with our thoughts, catch up with our breath. Take a moment to think, why am I thinking what I'm thinking? Why am I feeling the way I'm feeling? Not ignoring, not stuffing down, but just facing, how do you feel? And breathe. Now just finding that steady breath in and out through the nose. Hands to the knees will lift. And we'll just do a simple fold. Lift yourself up and then like pull with your arms. Pull your chest forward. Not rounding the back until that last moment. Letting the elbows drop now forward. Letting the head fall. Now, if you're close to the floor and you can get your hands down, you can put your head on your hands like that, or if you can get your elbows down, bring the hands up and touch your head. Or if you can do neither, just press into your hands and set your butt down. Lift your chest a little bit. Still going forward, but not pressing down, right? Like you feel that stretch through your back. It's not straining. It's not pulling on the head or the neck. Now push back, walk back. I love it. You use your props when you need them. Awesome. Okay. So let's take a moment with this now. Let's switch the feet around. We'll do a nice around the world kind of breath, and then we're going to move on from there. We'll take the hand over to the right. We'll reach up and over. We'll lift up. Going across. up, going back, hands come back behind you, fingertips down, and then push back to your palm, lift your chest up, let the back open, let the chest open, roll those shoulders back, heads up, not sitting on your neck or your shoulders, good, not sitting on the back. When you're ready, let the chest fall. Roll forward. Don't go on around the world, but corner to corner. Now from here, if you can, look forward at your hands and rock yourself forward over your legs. And if you can't, swing them legs around to the side and bring it to a seated or a kneeling position rather. So as we get into our kneeling, We'll just kind of rock our hips out. We'll push into our fingertips and our knuckles. 
Spread out as wide as you can. Push into your fingertips now. Push into your knuckles. Imagine a suction cup in your palm. Turn your toes under, lift your tailbone, and go into an easy down dog. Knees are still bent, and one heel at a time presses back. So we're starting with our walking dog, slow and steady. He's just getting started for the day, so we don't want to push him fast. Pushing into each heel. And as you do, I want you to notice that counter effect as you press your right heel down, push into your left palm a little deeper. Does that make sense? Yeah. Looks good. Lift your butt a little bit higher for me, Kelly. There you go. Is it right, Kelly? All right, all right. Nice and easy. Look forward at your hands, drop to your knees. Let me have a seat back. We're going to stretch out our quads. If you need a bolster brick, something to sit on now, go for it. Otherwise, take your right hand forward and pull your fingertips back. Not so much that it hurts, but find somewhere around the knuckle to pull. Oh, yeah. And if you can, go a little lower into your palm and pull that part back. And notice it is a little different in the stretch. You get a little bit more here, a little softer, so it doesn't pull the fingers as much. Nice and easy, hand goes forward. Little easy, don't push hard just enough that you feel it. Extend the arm through it and push that wrist out and away. Good. Let that go. We'll do the other hand, left hand up. Start at the finger a little bit, pulling it back, not too hard. Then go down into your palm. Push the hand away, feel it, yeah. And then let it change. Bringing the hand down, knuckles, fingertips point down. Push out through that wrist. There you go. And then bring it back. Both hands up. Both hands back. Take them around behind you. Interlace if you can. We'll lift up to our knees slow. Now if you can lengthen your arms down, lengthen them down. Pull them off your back if you're able. So we'll look up to the sky. We'll let the hands come down. Don't push the hips forward, but lift the chest up, and you'll feel that lengthening up and back. Now, nice and easy dive. Taking the arms up and over as far as they'll go. Staying down low, holding it, breathing. Four, three, two. Let your hands fall. Ah. Oh. Now, nice and easy, roll up. Let's do that one more time. This time you're gonna go up, you're gonna bring the hands back, you're gonna keep lengthening, keep the chest up, bring the knees in a little if you need. Bring those hands back, lift those arms up. As we go forward, once again, you're tucking down, bringing your chin in. Try and go toward the crown of your head a bit. No major pressure in the head, but it's there. Now reverse up. With the arms, good. Let it go. <sighs> so we're just warming up. We're not hanging out too long. We feel the blood flow changing already. Go into your hands once again for your down dock. Turning your toes under and then pressing to your heels. Press strong into your right foot. Press strong into your left hand. Lift your left leg up. Flare your foot out as wide as it'll go. Spread those toes out as big as it can get. And try to take your heel straight up to the ceiling. Make little circles. One, two, three, four. Reverse, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Step into both feet for a moment. Shifting now, picking the right up, step strong in the left foot, step strong in the right hand. Lift that right leg, flare those toes. Press that heel up. Give me circles. One, two, three, four, reverse, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down slow. 
step into each foot. Take a moment, look at your hands. <sighs> now, inhale, look at your hands, kind of go forward a little bit. Exhale, go back into your butt. Do it two more times. Inhale, just look at your hands. Come over them a little bit and back. Not going for full plank yet, but we're getting there one more. And all the way back. Now, go over your hands, wiggle yourself into a plank. Hold four, pull that belly up, push those heels back, that's it. Three, two, one. Down dog, walk. Hands come back. Soften knees. Go slow, breathe. Get into a forward bend. Lengthen your legs if you can, <clears throat> but don't lock the knees. Let the head drop. Inhale, look forward, prep. Exhale, look back. Inhale, look forward, prep. Bend the knees, hands swing back, chest lifts up, reverse swan dive, and let it go. Shake it out. How's everybody feeling? Are we warming at least? All right. Hot for some, warm for others. Awesome. So we're going to start staying back where you were. That's perfect. I get to walking around when I'm thinking I'm excited about where we're going. So we're going to take a moment from this standing position. Take a step forward with your left leg. Step into your right and press your right hand forward. Take your right hand out to the side. Take it forward with the fingertips and then turn the fingers up, turn the fingers out, turn them down almost as they swoop back. Go all the way around. Now, if you don't overthink it, but think about it, you're making a figure eight, right? You're making that loop, right? So we're going all the way through. Infinity arms. So we're going around. Oh yeah, we got it. Yes, they just go on and on. So we're going back as far as we can each time, creating a bigger loop if we can, but not swinging our bodies. Keep your hips straight forward. Take that arm back. Oh, take it forward. Feel little crackles in the elbows and the shoulders and the wrists for some. So just notice if you use your arms a lot. Gardening, keyboarding, massaging as I do. All these things have an effect on these arms, so we gotta work with them. There we go, keeping the arm down, shoulder height. Not too high above, one more, woo! And sweep back, and then straight forward, press it out. Turn it forward, both hands forward, lift straight up. Oh, we didn't forget about the legs. They're involved, that front knee is bent, that back leg is straight, you're getting a stretch through that hip flexor. From here, we're gonna tip into what's called warrior three. Warrior three, go straight forward with the arms, go up on your tippy toe, pick a focal point out in front of you, and then kind of lift off. Lift that leg, and the arms extend all at the same time. Now, shift that right pinky toe pointing down to the ground. Keep reaching out, four. Keep that hip level, three. Keep breathing. And touch down. Woo, good, everybody look up. And let it go. All right, so I like that one. It's like infinity arms and then into the future we go. All right. So, we're standing at the back end of our mat. Once again, we make that little step back. This time, right foot steps forward. We lift up, we step into that back heel. Find the hip to the front, get that front knee bent. We're settled in right here, relaxing, lifting the left hand. Good, pressing it forward, turning it out, and back. And over and forward. Back and back. And turning over. Now, if 
you've ever had any shoulder injuries, elbow, wrist, you're going to notice some of the stuff. One arm will just be different than the other. Accept it, acknowledge it. Maybe they both work evenly. That would be amazing. Anybody notice this side's harder? Yes. And what's funny, this is my right side. It's much more hard for me as well, much more difficult in that turnover. But I've injured this arm. So I know mm -hmm. I'm gonna work with my injuries, but still do every bit that I can. You feel the discomfort, but you don't push into the discomfort. You hold back from that point of pain. Don't push into pain. There you go. We don't do it because it's easy, but we do it because it helps. Keep going. Feel on those infirmity arms. Don't lose your hips. Don't lose your legs. You still got the bearing. You still got your hand on your hip, keeping it straight forward. And one more. All the way around. And all the way forward. And right there. Straight out. Other hand meets. Hip is forward on the left. Let right hip comes forward or back a little bit so they even out. Sometimes we turn, so make sure you're even and then up. Keeping that evenness as we go, looking forward to find our warrior three. Bring that left pinky toe down. It's pointing toward the floor. Touching down easy. Lifting up. Let it go. Step back. Awesome, you guys. Take a drink of water if you need. All right. Now, we're still at the back end of our mat. We're still going to work our way up toward the front. So starting where you are nice and tall, take a step forward with the right leg again this time. Finding that left leg. Heel turning in just slightly for balance. So spin that left heel in just a little bit. In, there you go. And you can step out a little wider if you'd like. So, finding the balance here, we're gonna play with Warrior Three. Warrior Three starts from Warrior One. But then we're gonna tip up and find that balance again. So remember, it's up on the toe and then give yourself that push. Bring that hip down and level. Now pull your knee in towards your chest and then extend your leg back. Do it again. Stay level, don't strain your back. Don't arch. And one more. Tip down, warrior. Woo, let it go. Shake it out. So now, when we're doing that, we're gonna do the other side. We'll just talk about it for a minute, trying to stay level. Keep that focal point out in front of you. Y'all sounded good. I didn't hear any thuds, so that's always a good sign. So we know we kept our balance with it. As we're doing it, if at any time you do need to tap down, you got it. But I think you ladies are ready. Stepping into that left. Switch it out. There we go. Arms come up for you. And then we're going to tip forward. Take a moment and get there. Level out that hip. And now crunch. One, two, three, four. Reach out. Tip down with the toe, land, lift, let it go. Awesome. Step into it. So we're about midway on our mat now. <clears throat> we're going to go out to the side with our feet. We're going to do a little balancer. So, turning those toes out, go up on the balls of your feet. Reach out with your arms. Good. Now we're just going to do a nice open lift. Look up toward the sky. Now see if you can close your eyes. Five-point pose. Soften into your knees. Feet are going to wiggle around. Grip the floor if you can. Use your toes. And then settle, eyes open, and down. Woo! Stay.
Step it in slow. Now come to the front end of your mat. So we're going to take a nice easy stance here. Just taking a couple of breaths. Y'all look good. I'm just going to move this back. There we go. Now, from this stance, we'll go through an easy sun salutation. We don't really need the warmth, but we're just going to take the stretch of it. So let's use that. Inhale up. Exhale down. All the way down. Lengthen through your tailbone. Lift. Let your head drop. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, look back. Inhale, look forward. And release. On this next one, inhale, look forward. Bend the knees, get into a nice deep, bring the hands back, and then inhale up again. We're getting it warmed up, getting prepped for our sun salutation. This time with a chair, we'll just do the breath salutation. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, look forward. Bend the knee. Awkward chair. Inhale. Stay low in your seat. So awkward chairs, like you're gonna sit down, but the chair's just been moved. So you don't wanna fall, you gotta keep that balance. Breathe. Looking up if you can. Wiggle the fingers if your arms are feeling it. And then lift. Exhale again, dive. This time, all the way through, we'll go. Inhale, looking forward, press. Exhale, release. Next one, prep and step. Inhale, look forward. Step back right, high lunge. High lunge, all the way. Up to the top with the arms as well, you breathe. Press into your feet, press into that back heel, press down through your right foot. Down. Hand to the floor, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle back with your right foot. Go as deep as you can to get a true plank. Push into your fingertips, push into your knuckles, step back with that left. Get strong, you're the top of a push up. You got this, you can hold. Belly button pulling up as your heels are pressing back. Try and chaturanga hover. That's going to be hovering just above the ground. You want to bring your elbows into your side ribs to help hold. Keep pushing your weight back and down. And then lift. Wiggle it out. Shoulders down. Lengthen the neck. Easy change to down dog. Shift. Lift the tailbone. Step into your feet. Press into your hands. <sighs> Breathe. Since we've already done the three-legged at the beginning, let's use it for our transition. We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to lift the right leg. It's going to go as high as it'll go up. Extend, look under your right armpit. Then look between your hands. Step your right foot up between the hands if you can. Bring it around like I do if you need. Help it. High lunge. Find the balance. Press into both feet. Don't let your torso just drop. Lift up. Extend. Shoulders down. Hands down, step up, reverse dive, hands to the heart, breathe, eyes open, let it go. All right, shake it out. We're going to do the other side now. <clears throat> We're just going to work through nice and steady. <sighs> find your mountain. If you can, find something to look at that's nice and tall that lifts your chest. 
that broadens your shoulders, that opens your ribs, and that settles you into your hips. Now check in with that. Make sure you're not tucking your pelvis forward and lifting of your tailbone, and you're not tucking under and hunching. So find that happy middle. If you need to, tuck under and then release. That's usually the one that lets you know, oh yeah, I was pulling in. Now check in, squeeze your glutes real tight. Let them go. Stand there without total contraction. Soften but lengthen. Standing up nice and tall, extend those legs. <sighs> Strong like a mountain. Now when you're ready, inhale up. We're gonna exhale and dive from our mountain forward, chest forward, I call this duck or swan. Tailbone up, chest going forward. Lengthen through your spine, let your head fall easy. Kinda say yes to the pose. Let your head just bobble for a second. Your knees are not locked, but they are long. They are long, but not locked. If you can drop in again, just saying bobble head, yeah, not slamming your head around, just letting it bobble. Now just say a little bit of nah. Ah, letting it go, just shaking the head no a little bit, not fast, just a little wiggle. Now tilt it just side to side a little bit. Now back in the center, just let it fall. Ah, keeping your eyes open, don't let yourself get dizzy or lightheaded, stay focused. Inhale forward, fingertips to the floor, ready to step back with the left leg. High lunge, all the way up, use your knee if you need, come up and around, without if you prefer. Press down into those legs, lengthen up through that torso. Get your full length, shoulders down away from the ears, length for your neck, you're not shrugging. Now let it go down. Easy twist. Wiggle back further through your right, your, your left foot. Your left hand is down and you're gonna look to your right. Roll your shoulders back. Look up toward the sky. If you can, reach up through that right arm. Feel that length. Feel that twisting you open. Coming around easy. We're gonna step to plank. From plank to knee, drop just those knees. Now don't go back with your weight, keep your hips forward. Come into your belly, feel it hold. I want you to try for four push-ups. Your elbows come by your ribs, hover, and then push back up. Your elbows come by your ribs, you hover, you push. Inhale down, exhale up. One more. And awesome ladies. Chaturanga from here, hover, drop, lift, up dog. Shake out the hips, shoulders are down. Press the floor away from you, down dog. <sighs> Y'all are working hard, push into those fingers. Breathe. Let the head bobble, no tension, and then just let it find its steadiness. <sighs> Forehead's dropping down toward the floor, but it's not touching the floor. You're not extending or pressing your head. You're just letting your neck be soft. Nice and easy left foot steps forward, but first we gotta get that leg way up in the air. And we gotta do our puppy dog tail. Big feet open. Look underneath your toe or underneath your armpit. Your toes are flared up. And then you're gonna step forward. Left comes forward. We're just finishing out what we did on the other side. We got the hand down and we rotate. We'll lengthen up and through, push back. Push back through that heel, feel it. Hand down to the knee, lifting up, high lunge. 
Reversing the order. Challenging the body in new directions. Hands down, step up. Reverse dive, slow, awkward chair, hold, four. Look up, three. Breathe, two, and lift. Let it go. Everybody's sufficiently warm now, yes? yes. All right. Shake it out, get a little drink of water, just a sip. Clearing the throat and coming to the center of our mat now. Now, be aware of your neighbors on this one because we're going to get big and we're going to get wide. All right? So, I am going to recommend, yeah, come forward so you won't be by that pole either. Good. All right. So, we got a little bit of room on each side of us. Our feet are in the center. If you can bring your feet all the way together, that's beautiful, and leave them there. If this is comfortable for you and your knees, do it. But if you have wide set hips and that makes your knees feel like they're buckling in, don't do it. <laughs> Open up. Listen to your body. Respect your dimensions. Do not expect your body to fit into somebody else's. All right? We're not going to fit into any other box but our own. We are here. We are going to start nice and easy with an eagle pose. So we're going to step our right leg over. And we're just going to squeeze our inner thighs a little bit. Now, can you bring your right foot back to touch the back of your calf without turning your knee out? Good. Bringing the knees together and squeezing. Good. Some of you can wrap around and touch. That's so pretty. Look, nice and tall we are. And we're just balancing. So we're standing eagle right now. Standing eagle. Splay out really big. Scoop down and imagine you're dropping seeds into the earth. You're digging down into dirt and you're dropping in seeds. Then you're going to inhale up to the sky and be a sunflower with big roots. You're going to exhale and drop those seeds. So this is the time for the sunflowers to drop their seeds, right? So inhale up. Harvest time for sunflowers. Harvest time for much. So we come up. Keep going. <sighs> On this next one, we're going to go up. And then we're going to fly back into our eagle. Foot goes forward. Leg wraps around. Now arms. Your right leg is on top. I want you to try and put your right arm on the bottom as you flap in. Trying to get your hands together. Awesome. Awesome. Bring it down tight into sleeping. Eagle, look up over your hands. Draw those shoulders down and forward. Oh, feel that back stretch. Fly out big. Five point pose. Up, balance, look to the sky. Don't clench your butt, soften. Close your eyes. And let it go. Walk it out. Everybody feel those on the standing leg that we've rolled? Oh, yeah. So now just take a minute. <clears throat> How's your body feeling? What did that stretch? Notice some stuff in the back. All right, so now, first things first, just the legs. Crossing left. Over right, find the squeeze. As you can, try and tuck that foot back and try and keep your knee going forward and over a bit. Squeeze it. <laughs> That's a little bit harder than the other. Exactly. It's always harder on one side. And that focal point, it helps to have something that's high up, that's not moving, that you can look at. Now step out big, unfurl, and sunflower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, let your seeds fall. Inhale, lift. Don't 
Don't lock your knees, but squat deep. And last one. Now as you come up, find your sunflower and then spin your right foot forward as you cross back in. And try that again. Cross in. So left is gonna be the base. Left arm is the base. There you go, fly it in. Elbows and knees close together if you can for four, looking over the tops of the hands for three. Breathing, two, and one. Out big. Five point pose. Up on the ball. Readjust if you need, shake it out. And close the eyes. Take a moment. This dry air is getting me, so. Take your time. We're gonna do eagle again. This time focusing on the arms. So nothing with the legs this round, just the arms. Take your right arm as the base. You can go out big and wide, and then flap them together. See if you can cross elbow over elbow, and then spin those hands to face each other. There you go. There you go. And you're just trying to get them close. And sometimes, like me, you gotta pull it around and get it in place. Some of you, like Miss Sheila, can get those hands together just right. Oh, it's up She's, her eagle is on point. <laughs> All right, now we got the arms. Right leg's the base, right leg will be the top. Right arm is the base, right leg will be the top. Cross over. Flip over your arms and then tuck down, sleeping eagle. Get a high focal point, fly up to it, fly out, out to the side. Fly, tipping, four. And let it go. Awesome, step in. It's not about being perfect. We're just practicing, so it's okay if it's not right. Just do what you can with all of it. Now, we're gonna have the left as the base now. So right arm was the base. Now left arm will be the base. Some people need to flap a couple times. So you get your flap on. Let me see those hands. You got it again. Left is your base. Flip them. There you go. And you have to think about it really, right? Like left is that base. There, she got it. She got it, and I love it. So notice, everybody's a little different. Put your hands on up where your hands on up. All right, you've been holding it. You're feeling it, I'm coming to join you now. Step into your right foot, look high above your arms, keep them centered. Cross over, tuck in, sleeping eagle. Draw the shoulders down, don't scrunch your neck. So looking up's hard for me now, so I'm gonna look out over my hand. Also known as your DRISD point, your focal point. Inhale, fly out. Focal point high. Fly, four. Press out, three, two, one. Let it go. Awesome. Take a moment. So spread eagle right, flying eagle. Take a moment. Ah, let's come down. We're gonna come down nice and easy and we're gonna do a stretch called Old Dog. So with Old Dog, I'm gonna to go to the side just for visual and I'll bring this mat to help assist me. So Old Dog, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna get on your knees nice and slow. I'll let you bring yourself down at your level. If you need knee padding, you need knee padding, use it. If you need assistance getting down, use it. All right, we're on the knees. But what we're going to be doing is lifting the tailbone nice and high. So go ahead and get that high tailbone, and you want your hips to stay here. So what I want you to notice, I'll start going forward eventually, but not at first. The first thing we're going to do is here, lining up. I'm going to try and get my chest to the floor. Not my head, but my chest. 
Walk down to your elbows. If you need to stop there, stop there. If you can take the arms out and put your chest down, put your chest down. Try and look between your hands. The weight is going into the chest more than the chin. If you are feeling it in your chin and neck, readjust. Now from wherever you are, I want everybody to take a moment and lift their head, push into your forearms, walk an elbow back, and then the other. Now, if you can, get another yoga mat, get a bolster, a towel, a blanket, something. Y'all have bolsters? I'm going to use a yoga mat just to show you and use whatever. I'm going to go over the top again. Now this time, I know my chest fell about right here. And I can stop and adjust at any time if I need to. So I'm going to go forward. I want this to go right here if I were in this position laying down. So that's the goal is to get my chest onto this. So hips up, walking it down. My chest finds that bolster and presses into it. And then I can put my chin down. It should not feel like it is cutting off circulation. It is not under your throat. Right, push forward. Your breasts are on it. Hips are up, 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 up. Come on up, Miss. So start again. Come all the way up for me, Miss Sharp. There you go. So start here. Keep your hips here, and your chest goes forward. Your butt doesn't move. Your chest drops down as you go over it. Don't so don't come forward with your belly. Don't come forward. Go back up with your butt. There you go. I'm gonna help you out. Y'all staying in it at home if you got it. Now walk your hands forward. You feel it in the armpits? I surely do. And the side and the waist, everybody. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So everybody just breathe in where you are. Good. I'm just going to give you a little adjustment. You're good. Good. I'm going to pull that back. And let that just surrender to you. You feel that difference? Yeah. Big back. So this is a really big arch on the back. So again, with or without a bolster, you can do this. Some people who are advanced or have been practicing for years will want to just get that chest down. Now, from where you are with that bolster, I'm going to show you a fun little treat. We've done this in the class before, but if you've not seen it, you're just going to shift forward. And as you do, your chest, your breasts are going to come over the top. Now, your elbows are going to back up to that bolster. And now you're in Sphinx pose. And it's actually quite comfortable, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite lovely. You can move your breast over the top if you need. Let your girls have a little platform to rest on. Drop your shoulders down. Imagine your shoulders pressing down through the elbows down to the floor. Notice how that lightens your chest, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It lifts that back. It's so lovely. So we're undoing all that daily rounding that we do. We're undoing that sitting at a desk, driving, sitting at the table eating. We, we lean over our food so often. So just be aware of those movements. So I'm readjusting my hips if you need to do so. Bring your elbows back. I felt like I just got a little longer, so I wanted to extend into it. If you feel that, go for it. A beautiful stretch is to turn the toe under. Push the hip back. Oh, oh that stretches the belly good. Right? Nice. Yeah. And let it drop down. Still looking forward. Mm -hmm. So this pose is one of those, the longer you're in it, the more it benefits you. It's not a hard pose, but you're starting to feel it, right? Mm -hmm. Between the shoulder blades, uh -huh. running down the spine, right at the bra line for the ladies, mid-back for your gentlemen. Shoulders down, pushing, lifting of the head even more. Oh, feel that change. We're not turtles. We want to get out of our shell. Now, nice and easy, press into your hands. Take a moment to slide the bolster out so you're in a long extended cobra. And then let your elbows down. Let your head come down and just rest for a moment. So as you're here, if you're resting, I'm going to readjust again. I wiggle around a lot more than y'all have to sometimes. <laughs> so just take a minute with it. 
All right. Now with that head down, I want you to interlace your fingers to where the fingers are coming in towards your palm. So do the opposite. Turn the fingers in towards your palm and lay down. Now what you're gonna notice, there's a little hole, there's a little divot right for your forehead. Oh, it just fits in there so lovely. Now I want everybody to take a moment and you're just gonna lift up and watch me for a moment if you can. Lift over your hands if you need to to see. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pivot onto our right elbow and we're gonna lift up. Now what I want you to notice, this is what I am not doing. I am not bending my wrist. I'm pivoting to the elbow. It stays straight across. One fluid movement. That's your fulcrum. That's where you're lifting and shifting from. Try not to bend that wrist, Miss Cindy. Lock those wrists straight. And go up. There you go. Lock those wrists straight. They don't bend. Pivot onto the point of your elbow. Slow it down. Let's do it together. Head down. Rest. Inhale up. Right elbow. Look to the right. Breathe. Exhale down. Lift up. Look left. Exhale down. Look right. Exhale down. Straighten the wrist. Imagine there's a two by four running elbow to elbow. You can't bend over it. You gotta stay straight. Working the side and the waist. Working the back muscles. Lifting the breath. Exhaling, we drop. Lifting with breath. Exhale, drop. One more. Oh, I can feel me getting tired. I'm starting to bend those wrists. Keep them straight. One more. Last time. Right and last time left. All the way down. Oh, yeah. Feel the shoulders, the neck. The head didn't lift, but it went. <laughs> nice and easy. We lift the head now. We draw the elbows back, we draw the hands back. Now look out in front, really pull back. Bring the legs into good alignment. Lift up strong, stretch that belly. Now roll back over. We're gonna do this again, I'll turn to the side and we're gonna do full expression of up dog. So what we just did, but this time we will lift up. We will turn the toes under and we'll dangle. Push into your feet a little bit. Four, three, two, and down. Five, flatten feet. Look to your right. Soften your glutes. Look forward, you're not clenching your butt. Look to your left, press your shoulders down. Look straight forward and let it go. One vertebra at a time. When you get halfway, let go. Hold. Lift your legs. Float. Fly. Hands come back. Lift. Full locust. Lift. Four. Breathe in. Looking out in front of you. One more. And down. Legs down. Head down. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna do is just push ourselves up a little bit. Push into our elbows, walk ourselves back. Come back into a child's pose positioning. Now from here, you're gonna take your left arm and go back and through. You're gonna go between your legs and try and reach for your toes. You're gonna drop your ear to the ground if you can. If not the ear, the temple or the side of the head. You're looking to the right, you're resting down. Soften your right elbow. Soften your right hand. Breathe. Take a few cleansings bre cleansing breaths. Let that exhale out with a sigh, make some sound. Now press up slow. Push into your right hand. 
Slide the left out. Take a minute wiggle through your middle. Take the right back. Turn to bind your toes. Tuck that shoulder in in a comfortable way. Let that left elbow splay out. Shoulder drops forward. That elbow soft, hand is soft. Both arms just rest where they are. Your eyes are turned to the left. You can close your eyes and just rest. Just breathe. Nice and easy. We'll get that left hand ready. We'll slide up and through with the right. We'll shift. And then I want you to come around into a comfortable position. If you have a bolster or something to put under or behind your knees, I do recommend it. We'll use it for behind the legs. Just flip around onto your back, onto your belly. I mean, onto your back from your belly. And you're just going to lay facing up. You want to put that bolster behind your knee. You want to find what's comfortable for you. Taking your time getting down, don't force yourself. But let your legs just soften over. Soften through the back, soften through the shoulders. Now take a moment. Wiggle each hip. Make sure you feel like you are flat on your bottom and you don't have one cheek kind of tucked under you, tipping you to a side. If you're not sure, bend your knees. Lift your tailbone. Wiggle it out a little bit. Drop it back down. Take your right hand over toward your left hip. Pull the elbow down. Try and touch right beside your left hip again. And then roll that shoulder back. Take the left hand across toward the right. See if you can pull it. See if you can go to that elbow. Start pulling it more. Can you get those fingertips down and touch right beside the right hip? And then let it go. Spread your fingers out as wide as you can. Spread out your toes. Feel like you're extending through your arms and legs. Open your eyes and your mouth. Breathe in as deep as you can with everything expanded in all directions. Even lift the limbs if you want to. Take a breath in. Let it go. And just breathe deep. Be aware of the sounds around you. Hear them all. If you're in the room with us, I know you can hear the dog barking in the distance, the sound of traffic, the fan blowing, the music, my voice, movement in the lobby. Just being aware that life is happening all around us and at all times. There will never be a perfect place or a perfect space to meditate in. It is what it is. I want you to realize you can be still. You can be with your breath. You can find relaxation and meditation even in the middle of a busy street. You can take your time to slow down 
and be more present and more mindful. Be aware all meditation is not done laying down. Sometimes you're seated, sometimes you're walking. Sometimes you're in a meditative movement or flow. Like a vinyasa flow or a qigong flow. Finding that place where you're slowing down and being aware that chaos happens but you can be calm. Learning to respond to what's around you versus react quickly, slowing down to make sure it's a proper response, a necessary response. jaw and I'm clenching. No tension in the shoulders or the hands. And now let there be some movement. Movement in your toes and your fingers. Movement in your wrists and ankles. Beginning to stretch around, moving, lengthening, Rocking if you need. Find a position that's comfortable for you. Turn to one side. Lay for just a moment, making sure that your blood pressure is regulating. You're ready to move. You're ready to sit. And when you're ready, just kind of push forward into your hand and elbow, letting your top leg stretch a little bit. And you'll roll around to the front. Once we come to this seated position, we'll just find what's comfortable for us. Everybody will look a little different. Arms drop down, chest lifts, shoulders roll back. Thank you for being present with me today. Thank you for being willing to practice. Thank you for being playful and knowing that you're not going to get it right all the time. We're not meant to. We learn from our mistakes. We learn from times when it just didn't click. Some days will be much more fluid than the others. And some days will just feel a little sticky. So work with your body, work with your flow, work with your breath. Be willing to just be present. Bringing the hands to the heart. Knowing that I am grateful for each and every one of you today. I honor the light within you. Namaste. 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 Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, thank you. So, yeah. See how you feel flying around today after being eaten.